Om Shanti, today is the 70th day of your Vardhan, a beautiful Vardhan in which Baba is actually explaining the method to understand whether we are reaching our final stage of becoming 16 celestial degrees complete or not. Now what are 16 celestial degrees? Just like we say that the moon becomes complete in approximately a couple of days, 16 celestial degrees, it takes some time for the degrees to reduce and for the moon to turn from full moon to completely dark moon. Now these qualities in a soul are also a depiction in terms of a moon. So Baba says over here that you have all the qualities in you provided you have purity in you. The quality could be the quality of entertainment, the quality of speaking, the quality of leading others, the quality of art and performance and there are many such other qualities which we have within us and we are good at all of them at some level but some of us because of not having purity in ourselves not having the confidence and not able to showcase those qualities in this world and use them for the purpose of serving others so let's understand what qualities does Baba actually mean to talk about over here So Baba says, may you perform every action as a special act at the confluence age and become 16 celestial degrees full. So perform every action as a special act. Now generally people they perform acts, they talk, they speak and they give lectures or they are actors or they are dancers or they are general practitioners of any in any field or their leaders or they are the ones who are actually ministers or let's say a governor or a leader of a town or a country now the way they speak the way they sit the way they act the way they behave the way they talk decides whether they are completely full of qualities or not of virtues or not so Baba is talking about that everybody and everybody acts but at what purity level so Baba says the confluence age, the age when we souls get to meet the Supreme God, the Father, our Creator, is the confluence age which is in between the Iron Age and the Golden Age. So this is the time when we get to meet our Creator and understand the creation and we get to purify our mind. We get to remove the fear within us which is lingering over everybody's mind. What is the future? What's going to happen? Why things are like this in the present? What is happening to the world? Where is it going? Where is it moving? Where is my life moving? So all those questions we get to learn in Brahma Kumaris. So Baba says, the confluence age is the age to reveal your special talents. Every action and every virtue of those who act, whose every act is like a talent is praised. Now the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you listen also, the way you lead others also, all that is counted over here. 16 celestial degrees means, full means, your every activity is visible as a special talent. This is a sign of the stage of perfection. So, we have to have perfection. That can only happen when we have removed the different negative areas in our mind, which includes fear, which includes mistrust, which includes failures of the past, which includes lack of confidence, which includes not knowing what your qualities are also, which you learn through meditation. You get to know what you have come to do on this earth. You get to know what talents and what qualities were bestowed upon you by God when you were created. Created means when you were purified. So then Baba says, 16 celestial degrees full means your every activity is visible as a special talent. This is a sign of the stage of perfection. In the Sakar form, in the physical form, you saw Baba's speciality, the founder of Prajapita Brahma Kumari's godly spiritual university is Prajapita Brahma. That means Adam, Prajapita, Pita means the father. Praja means all the kingdom under the king or his kingship. So. The kingdom means all the souls who are the children of Adam are actually the praja of Adam, the followers of Adam, of his kingdom. 
So we saw the specialities in Brahma Baba, in the way, in his way of speaking, how he used to speak politely, kindly, less, to the point, and walking, etc. So that is also an art. So the way he used to walk, people used to feel as if a very royal being is walking. The way he used to speak, he used to feel as if a very royal person is talking, even though he didn't have any kind of wealth around him. But the wealth was the inner wealth of purity, of peace, of power. So that is also an art. It, it doesn't mean that you have to be rich or belong to a very, very royal family for you to act royally, for you to act in a very uh, royal manner or very humble manner or very polite manner. It needs a lot of inner purity, spiritual purity for that to happen. So that is what we observed about the founding father of this university. The art of sitting and getting up, the art of seeing the way you see people. If you don't have truth within you, how will you look into the eyes of the people when you have all the truth within you, pure wishes, pure, pure thoughts towards others, you look directly into their eyes, not with any anger, but with a lot of love in your eyes towards other souls. That's what people used to see in the eyes of Brahma Baba. The art of walking. There was uniqueness and speciality in everything, the way Baba used to do that. So follow the father in the same way and become full in all 60 nats. There are 60 nats which we learn at Brahma Kumaris. The way to talk, the way to walk, the way to lead, and there are many more like that, the way of entertainment. So we have different ways of entertaining also, right? So all that is taught at Brahma Kumaris. You can get into the details when you reach Brahma Kumaris Center and do the 7 days course. With this beautiful understanding, I leave you Om Shanti.